Along the German side of the Lake Constance history, art and culture meets beautiful sceneries, all with the view of the vastness of the lake. It's also well worth visiting the 22 meter high viewing tower on the pier. The car ferry to Switzerland also docks on the lakeside promenade, along with the renovation docks for the ships of Lake Constance. The extensive port area along Seestrasse and Uferstrasse adds a hint of maritime flair to the promenade. Numerous cafes are on hand for those who care to linger. The lakeside promenade at Friedrichshafen is one of the longest and most beautiful on Lake Constance. The Zeppelin Museum is a must for all visitors to Friedrichshafen with the world's largest collection of artifacts concerning the history of airship travel. The town of Constance not only looks back on an eventful history, it also has plenty of culture to offer. One of the most important events in the town's history was the papal election during the Council of Constance 600 years ago, the only time this ever occurred north of Alps. Relics and buildings from that period can still be discovered throughout the town. The Imperia is a statue at the entrance of the harbour of Constance, Germany, commemorating the Council of Constance that took place there between 1414 and 1418. The concrete statue is 9 meters high, weighs 18 tons, and stands on a pedestal that rotates around its axis once every 4 minutes. It was created by Peter Lang and clandestinely erected in 1993. The erection of the statue caused controversy, but it was on the private property of a rail company that did not object to its presence. The Imperia shows a woman holding two men on her hands. The two men represent Pope Martin V and Emperor Sigismund. Martin V was elected during the council, while Sigismund was the king who called the council. The statue refers to a short story by Balzac, La Belle Imperia. The story is a harsh satire of the Catholic clergy's morals, where Imperia seduces cardinals and princes at the Council of Constance and has power over them all. Starfish, seahorses, rays and sharks are all at home in Constance and can be seen up close in an underwater tunnel in Sea Life Constance. One of the classic day trip destinations for visitors of all ages is the flower island of Mainau and is a must see for those interested in botany. It would be a shame not to see the rare plants and trees you can find growing on the island. The precious arboretum makes Mainau a unique park experience at all times of the year. This parkland invites you to wander, linger and observe. Welcome under the giant redwoods, atlas and Lebanon cedars, metasequoias and tulip trees to mention just a few of the more well-known ones. A visit to the second largest butterfly house in Germany is certainly one of the highlights of my now day out. Relish the tropical feeling as you walk through the exotic landscape of unique vegetation. Observe and admire 120 different species of free-flying tropical butterflies from Africa, Asia, Central and South America in the Butterfly House, 
kept at 90% humidity and temperatures between 25 and 30 degrees.